Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable the Windows 7 notification pop-up that says your Windows 7 PC is out of support. As of January 14th, 2020, support for Windows 7 has come to an end. Your PC is more vulnerable to viruses and malware due to no security updates, no software updates, and no tech support. Microsoft strongly recommends using Windows 10 on a new PC for the latest security features and protection against malicious software. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would recommend doing would be, if you have that pop-up still open on your screen, select the Don't Remind Me Again option in the bottom left corner of it. If you select Remind Me Later, it will remind you, I believe, in three days or system days. So the clock, it'll go ahead three more days and then give you another notification on it. So again, just select Don't Remind Me Again on that pop-up, and that should be all you have to do. There is a registry modification we can make in here, though. It seems kind of impractical if you just want to select that one option on the pop-up screen when you get it next time. But we're going to go open up the search menu, type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, chicken back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, that's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin, and we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder, so double-click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here, double-click on that. And you want to go down to Windows, double-click on it, and then Locate Current Version, double-click on that one as well. And then you want to locate EOS Notify. If you do not see that in here, you will just right-click on the Current Version folder, select New, and then Key. Name this E as in Evan, O as in Oscar, S as in Sam, Notify. The E, O, S, and N should all be capitalized, and then the rest of the word Notify should be lowercase. Hit Enter. And now on the right panel, you want to right-click in a blank area. Again, while you have this folder selected, so you want to right-click in a blank area, select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. Name this value Discontinue. EOS, again, discontinue, EOS, and then hit enter. Once that's done, go ahead and double click on that value. Type the number or numerical value of one in the value data field here, and then select OK. And then once that's done, you want to go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And then hopefully that's resolved the issue. One final key we might have to create if you're still having a problem would be to open up the search menu again, go back into the registry editor, same way we did before. We're going to go underneath H key local machine, and we're going to now double click on the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft, and then go down to Windows, and double click on it. Should be a current version folder in here. Double click on that as well. And then there should be an EOS notify folder or key. Again, if you don't see it in here, go ahead and just right click on the current version folder, select new and then key, name it EOS notify. Again, the EOS should all be capital and the N and notify and then everything else should be lowercase. Hit enter. And then while having that folder or key selected on the right panel, right click in a blank area, select new, DWORD 32-bit value. Name this value discontinue EOS. I believe this is the same DWORD value we did before, just doing it under a different subdirectory. So again, discontinue EOS, and then click out of it. Double-click on that value once you've created it. Type the value data number one in here. Base should be hexadecimal, and select OK. 
And then once that is done, you should be able to go ahead and actually just close out of the registry editor. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.